Hi, folks. I'm Glenn B. from ballseyesboomers.blogspot.com. That's my blog. What you see in front of you today are four boxes of 223 Remington ammunition, brass cased, full metal jacket. I believe it's Boxer Primed, but don't take my word for that. I'm not 100% sure on that. This ammo was produced by China North Industries Corporation. They are more commonly known as Norinco. And this am ammunition used to be uh, imported into the United States with some frequency. It's pretty good ammunition, as I understand. And um, it was banned from further importation in either 1993 or 1994, depending on the source. Wikipedia says 1993. Gun Digest had a piece online that says it was in 1994. It was banned by Bill Clinton. There's no doubt about that. Um, even though he gave China First Nation trading status or whatever it's called, he banned any further imports of uh, firearms or most imports of firearms and ammunition from China. I don't believe any ammunition enters the United States from China anymore. Um, what I have here is a magnet. What I have here is an Altoids box, and I'm going to show you that my magnet works. Before the magnet touched the box, the box came up in the air to meet the magnet. Okay, it's a pretty strong little magnet. Okay, this part down here, this little cylinder that my index finger is touching, a pretty strong magnet. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to check the 223 Remington from the Rinko to find out if it's steel core. That's a question that I tried to answer online by doing an online search yesterday. And I must have found um, at least five, six, maybe even seven or eight different uh, firearms forums that had threads with that question prominently asked by the person who started each, each of those threads. And uh, the answers he got, some were just totally off the wall, ridiculous. Most of the answers he got had nothing, or that they got, that the people that posted the different threads got, had nothing to do with the question that was asked about whether or not the rounds are steel core and thus magnetic. So let's go here. I'm touching the, each of these bullets with the magnet. And you can see it's not doing anything, just to show you. It's the same magnet I just used, okay? And uh, it definitively shows that this ammo is not steel core because they're, they're not being picked up by the magnet. In fact, they're getting knocked over when I touch them with the magnet. On the other hand, did you see that? I didn't even, even need to pick it up yet. This is 7.62 by 39 millimeter Wolf am ammunition. And as you can see, from inches away, the bullet gets pulled right to the magnet. The bullet is steel cord and thus it is magnetic. Of course, on this ammunition, the case is also magnetic because it's a steel case. Um, I'll just go to show you that, sorry about that. Go to show you that uh, another uh, round of ammunition from Wolf. This is also steel cord. It's 7.62 by 39 millimeter and it's hollow point. And that's why it's sticking to the uh, magnet the way it is, because the end of the round is flat. It's not pointed, as is the full metal jacket. The hollow point is cut off at the end. And it just goes to show you, the Norinco ammo, uh, at least the lot that I got of it, I got 60 boxes of it uh, through UPS today from an auction uh, up in upstate New York. And uh, again, it's not magnetic ammo. So it should be good at any range. And this shows you what is magnetic. The... 7.62 by 39 stuff from, from Wolf definitely is. And this other ammunition definitely is not. And there's the magnet again, so you can see it. So the question's been answered uh, nicely, I think. Hope you enjoyed the video.